In this lesson, we will be discussing Timelines Update. The Timeline view in Microsoft Project has always been an alternative method for showing the project's schedule on either a high level or even on a specific detailed level, depending on how you wish to use it. Communicating a project schedule is a critical part of any project manager's duties, and often a Gantt chart, which is what you see here, is not the best way to show how a project lifecycle is laid out. Let's navigate to the timeline view. You can already see a preview of it here at the top of my Gantt chart. But let's go to a full timeline view by selecting the View Option drop-down and choosing Timeline. Now I'm using a blank project so you can see the whole timeline start to finish today through today, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And there are no tasks on our timeline for now. In Project 2016, Microsoft has overhauled the timeline view to include several changes. Let's talk about those changes. Now, multiple timelines can be displayed, each with their own start and end date. Each timeline can now represent a user-defined set of tasks and milestones. So in other words, I can have this existing timeline here, starting today, ending today, 8 to 5, and also include a secondary timeline right here that starts today at noon and ends tomorrow at noon, or starts today at noon and ends today at 5, or goes later. I can have a timeline that starts tomorrow and continues for one day. I can show multiple timelines within a single timeline view. What's more, the next new feature is that I can now drag and drop between different timelines. So for example, if I have a task set for today at 11 a.m. on this timeline, and I've rescheduled that appointment to tomorrow at noon, I can drag that task from this timeline and put it on the secondary timeline, which I've chosen to show directly beneath this. Of course, you can't see it now. But I could drag that task and put it on a secondary timeline within this timeline window. That makes the timeline view easier than ever to use. And lastly, now you can save your timeline to a PowerPoint file and your objects within the PowerPoint file will remain editable. And this is a huge new feature that's been added to Project 2016. If I want to show off my timeline to my project team or my stakeholders, for example, I can export this timeline into a PowerPoint and present that PowerPoint to whomever I'm meeting with. And if one of my stakeholders suggests that one of the tasks be moved, I can, within the PowerPoint, move that task on the timeline. And then later I can sync up my notes and come back to my project file and move that task just as I did in my PowerPoint. And that completes this lesson on the timelines updates.